We're asked to graph the equation y is equal to negative 2 times x minus 2 squared plus 5. So let me get my scratch pad out so we can think about this. So it's y is equal to negative 2 times x minus 2 squared plus 5. So one thing, when you see a, a, a quadratic or a parabola gra expressed in this way, the thing that might jump out at you is that this term right over here, this term right over here is always going to be positive because it's some quantity squared, or I should say it's always going to be non-negative. It could be equal to zero. So it's always going to be some quantity squared. And then we're multiplying it by negative. So this whole quantity, this whole quantity right over here is going to be non-positive. It's always going to be less than or equal to zero less than or equal to zero. So if this thing is always less than or equal to zero, the maximum value that this, that y will take on is when this thing actually does equal zero. So the maximum value for y is at five. So y, the maximum value for y is five. And when does that happen? Well, y hits five when this whole thing is zero. And when does this thing equal zero? Well, this whole thing equals zero when x minus two is equal to zero, and x minus two is equal to zero when x is equal to two. So the point two comma five is the maximum point for this parabola, and it is actually going to be the vertex. So if we were to graph this, so the point two comma five, so that's my y-axis, this is my x-axis. So this is one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So this right over here is a point two comma five. This is a maximum point. It's a maximum point for this parabola. And now I want to find two more points so that I can really determine the parabola. Three points determine a, de completely determine a parabola. So that's one, the vertex. That's interesting. Now what I'd like to do is just get two points that are equidistant from the vertex. And the easiest way to do that is to maybe figure out what happens when x is equal to, when x is equal to one and when x is equal to three. So I can make a table here actually. Let me do that. So I care about x being equal to one, two, and three, and what the corresponding y is. We already know that when x is equal to two, y is equal to five. Two comma five is our vertex. When x is equal to one, one minus two is negative one, squared is just one. So this thing is gonna be negative two plus five, so it's gonna be three. And when x is equal to three, this is three minus two, which is one, squared is one, times negative two is negative two plus five is three as well. So we have three points. We have the point one comma three, one comma, one comma three, the point two comma five, and the point three, three comma three for this parabola. So let me go back to the exercise and actually put those, put those three points in. So we have the point one comma three, we have the point two comma five, and we have the point three comma three, and we have now fully determined our parabola.